What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And just a little bit ago, we checked out uh, Tom McDonald and Adam Calhoun's Race War. And I really liked the song. It actually <laughs> shared opinions I do have it. I'm, uh, you know, it is what it is. It was cathartic, it felt good. So figured we would check out some more of uh, Tom, Mac Tom McDonald, especially cause this, I mean, we had a few people uh, tip and send donations. We had Sean, we had Patrick Walker, who's been a long friend and supporter of the channel. So we have people sending freaking money and, and some of these donations that I've had, they've been in my inbox for between seven and 10 months. So thank you guys for waiting. Before we check out No Lives Matter, the reason I've avoided checking out Tom McDonald is that I know that homie has been controversial. And so I just have like, I've just been hesitant on, on doing that sort of that sort of stuff on the channel. But at the same time, good music is supposed to make us think. So let's just keep enjoying it. So we're going to check out Tom McDonald's No Lives Matter. So this came out two years ago. So I'm guessing during the Black Lives Matter stuff. So it's a little play on that. 27 million views already. Um, not gonna lie, dude, ballsy song title. <laughs> and it was probably like, honestly, it's brave as crap, like <laughs> to put this out during during all of this. Um, cool, let's do it. Thank you guys for hanging out. And thank you, Tom, for letting us use your music and check out your music. Let's roll it. How much of those face tattoos hurt, by the way? Hip hop diet is full of guys who cannot even rap. Facts. Media dividing us by colors, white or black. Facts. Wow. You believe in Jesus, these days Christians get attacked. Facts. If you don't hate police, then everybody thinks you're white. And everything's so connected. Black Lives Matter got so aggressive. White <laughs> folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Our social climate from the global tension turned to total violence and a whole depression. We can unify and then I'll go against them, but we let them divide us with votes and elections. Hey, the music oh. we bump. Yeah. Not about shooting guns and doing drugs. Hey, whoa. The things that we want are promoted subliminally through the songs like you need a fast car, you need designer clothes, you need a rap star to tell you to start popping pills at the blunt and go live at the club to your bro. It's all controlled by the elites. Put fake news all over our screens, convincing the right to go fight with the left and distract from the fact it's each other we need. Uh, divided by race and religion, segregated into teams. Uh, you're a white supremacist. If you're not, I guess you Antifa. <laughs> Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Oh, man. Turn us on each other now, no lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood gon' splatter. Turn us on each other till no lives matter. Freedom's dead if you have. All right, so, all right, here's my thing. I really like the sound of his rap. Um, I wondered, I was hesitant about him. I wondered, was he only big because he had and expressed the, honestly, the conservative point of view? And I've seen it like, <laughs> I work in the tech world. Bro, if you're conservative, good luck saying anything. It's, it, it's, it's been weird, to be honest. And so I was like, is it, did he get big just because he, he's, he's voicing that side of things and, and it's just so, uncommon no homie's actually he's just great period written and produced by tom mcdonald wait so he he's his own lyricist of course but then he produces his music too all right he just went <laughs> way up on my in my book okay love that also the line about you know the christians thing we'll see if we make i, I hope we don't make people mad with this one so, like I said, I work in the tech world. Um, there's a, a statue uh, called the Christus. It's, it's Jesus. Uh, this one. Um, I put a pretty big one on my desk at work. Now, I'm not going to make it sound like I had all of these people ask me to take it out, but I had one. So I don't think <laughs> I, I didn't, you know, exaggerate my experience with this one person with my workplace and my employer. But I did think it was weird how offensive it was for me to just put a picture. I mean, a statue of something that matters. It means a lot to me. So the catharsis on his stuff, um, I get it, bro. No lives matter. Freedom's dead if you have an opinion, take it back. Wow. People hate the president, if you don't, then you trash. <laughs> Indoctrinate the nation using news and mainstream rap. The government abuses us, it's all part of the plan. And it's so confusing. Black Lives Matter is a valuable movement, but all lives matter ain't racist or stupid. It's non-black humans who don't feel included. All colors fall under laws to govern the whole country, and we all suffer. We're all broke, and nobody recovers until we accept that we're all brothers. Hey, the music we make, all about big booties and getting paid. Hey, <laughs> we watch the news, and it fills up our brains with violence and riots and race. Like, this is a race war. You need to hate more. Get wow. what you came for. You need some songs about Xanax and violence so you can escape more. What a vicious cycle we can break. 
away from they control the culture they control the paper they're indoctrinating a whole generation till the patriots start to hate the nation the music we love make us dumb and addicted the news that we watch is brainwashing the children the viruses riots and racist conditions ain't problems they're symptoms of life in the system screaming from the rooftops beat down better turn us on each other now no lives matter if we do what the news wants blood goes yeah. splatter Will make you dumb. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna piss off so many people. Gosh, this is awesome. This is so good. <laughs> Music video is pretty well done. Nova Rockefeller. I love this, like the scrappiness. I love how scrappy they are. Respect the hustle. That line about the indoctrination and whatnot. You know, all of us have opinions that we wanna preach and <laughs> convince people on, but that's why you would hope that you you foster places to debate these things and practice feeling uncomfortable with your side and your opinion being attacked. That's not happening. I don't know if any of you guys have read that book, The Coddling of the American Mind. Mind blown, dude. Like, I'm almost like, I will actually do everything to make sure my girls do not go <laughs> to college. The music we make all about big booties and getting paid. Oh, what a great call out. Honestly, a, a big reason why I've kind of stopped listening to like hip hop. It just kind of kind of got old. This is a race war. You need to hate more. Get what you came for. You need some songs about Xanax and violence so you can escape more. Wow. Like, <laughs> gosh, dude. Yeah. The media makes you hate, and they control them both. Wow. There ain't no escape. They put the world in a state of chaos. Economy crashing and massive layoffs. Black against white, or it's left versus right. Divide and conquer, and control is the payoff. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other now, no lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood gon' splatter. Turn us on each other till no They were awfully close. Are they, are they an item? Yeah, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> Guys, I'd love to check them out some more. If more of you want to check it out, let me know. Y'all are my boss. All right, so I love the song. I think I would come to it when I'm feeling a little bit, frankly, annoyed with all of these conversations. Dude, I have a, I have a feeling freaking next election cycle. I'm going to be listening to a, Tom, a lot of Tom McDonald, bro. Seems like it. Just gets so old. So... To be honest, right now, like, would I put some of this stuff that we've checked out about Tom McDonald on my, like, gym playlist and whatnot? No. Honestly, it's because I'm just so exhausted about the topics, and period. Even though he's echoing kind of what I feel, but uh, maybe when the time is right. So my question to you guys is, does Tom McDonald have stuff that's, a like, not, not political? Let me know. That's fine. If that's his niche and, and he's clearly crushing it there, it's all good. But like I'm trying to, I I, I do want to be listening to some more like positive stuff, and I, as as again spot on as I think he is on the anti woke approach, like his anti woke uh, um, sentiments. I do want to focus a little bit more on at least in my life on the pro like pro family, pro working hard, pro getting comfortable being uncomfortable. All you know, not what we run or run, not what we want to run away from, but what we want to run to. You know that sort of thing. Anyway, guys. Can't wait to hang out with y'all again soon. I don't know if anybody from my uh, workplace is going to watch this, and I hope not, honestly, because of the the stances we've taken. But it would be nice to, like, who gives a crap if I'm Latino, you know what I mean? Anyway, much love, everybody. Peace out.